Hello and welcome College Insiders, I am Shira Balgrave. As the National Pause is set to end on Monday, many Barbadians are thrilled to return to some of their usual activities with a little ease but with the same restrictions. Our Katrina King tells us more in this week's top news recap. Prime Minister Mia Amor Motley has announced a phased reopening of the country from March the 1st. Addressed to the nation from Ilara Court last night, the Prime Minister stated that the 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew remains in effect, but government has allowed outdoor commercial activity for a selected number of businesses. Now, for those who are ready to make preparations to resume their partying in March, the Prime Minister issued a stern warning. COVID also loves to party. Partying didn't start in 2020, and trust me, it is not going to end in 2021. There's going to be new and old music in 2022, 2032, and 2042. And trust me, when I leave this job, I'm going back to help make some music. So let us understand that there is no rush for people to be partying now. March 2021 cannot, I want to repeat myself, cannot be a time for partying. Well, taking this into consideration, Quarantine Facilities Manager Alvin Hart recently did an interview with the Barbados Government Information Services, where he shared concerns about the spread of COVID-19 in communities and shared that a number of families were at the Harrison's Point Isolation Facilities. What we are seeing in this current outbreak and at this phase is that we are not breaking the chain of infection after persons are tested. What is happening is that after persons are tested, they're going home, but they're going to stop by the shop. They're going to go in the supermarket. Some people get tested and don't see anything, know they've been exposed, and they go back to work. And they go on the block. And some of these areas, these villages and so on, are so densely populated that when you go on a block and you have 12 men on a block, or are you going to shop? Or are you going to visit your aunt, your mother? I had I heard cases of persons saying, but when they finish this testing, I'm going to look for my aunt. I'm going to look for my sister. I'm going to look for my mother. You are now exposing all of those persons to COVID-19. And when we look at the data, we are picking up entire families because of this. On that note, who is looking forward to next week's reopening? Thank you, Katrina. And although many Barbadians are anxious to return to work or simply a sunset on the beach, many students across Barbados are having issues managing their mental health. Our TSU goes beyond the headlines this week to tell us more. Thanks, Shira. The life of a student can be stressful. There's no secret about that. We stress about assignments, deadlines, exams, quizzes we didn't even know were happening. When the world was free, free to socialize, free to show any form of physical affection or comfort, some students dealt with life's obstacles by doing just that, socializing, talking to friends about their problems, and feeling like they're not alone. Snacking and chatting with each other on a bench, probably laughing at the silliest things. But those were good times for many students, helpful times. Now that interaction is gone. Now we text more, we call more. We no longer sit next to our friends in class. We see their initials on the screen. Everything is online. Due to the COVID-19 health crisis, along with the transition to full online classes, some students haven't been taking the current situation well. Mentally, some aren't in a great place. To share more with us on the subject of student mental health, I spoke with the Director of the Counseling and Placement Centre at the Barbados Community College, Ms. Cheryl Licorice. A lot of the time, um, especially students who are, you know, who have such a heavy workload, sometimes they don't even know that their mental health is declining. Uh, what are some signs that students can look out for? Okay, um, we can look at signs of anxiety, stress, panic attacks, depression, and there's a fine line, they said, between stress and anxiety. So how can students um, maintain their mental health, especially during the time that we're in right now? Okay. Oh, there's some simple things that can help mental health. Hydration, nutrition, sleep, 
positive connection and movement. They all fall under those five categories. They can take mental breaks or, and it is referred to now in the literature as taking mental health moments. And you do that to do some self care, be kind to yourself, taking a break, a moment, Take a shower, a hot shower. Drink a cup of hot tea. You're taking care of yourself. Enjoy the sunny days and we're getting like today is sunny and windy. Go for a walk. You can do exercise videos on YouTube and you know they're free. So exercise, <laughs> yeah. exercising and moving our bodies can be beneficial for both mental and physical health. So you're getting both benefits there. What are ways that students can be their brother's keeper without, you know, the in-class interaction that you would usually have? Okay. Um, being your brother's keeper. You can encourage each other. You can build each other up. You can send encouraging notes or a thought to them. Social distancing doesn't mean you can't feel close to a loved one. So get creative. You can do things like a video chat together. You can celebrate birthdays online or some other occasion. You can use in those tools like WhatsApp, Skype, Hangouts, Zoom, whichever. A special thanks to Ms. Lickridge for joining me and sharing her knowledge with all of us today. Back to you, Shira. Thank you, Tia. And now that we have some tips on how to manage our mental health, Let's dive right into this week's trending. Now, Kobe, you said that on this week's trending, we have a pretty famous person. What's going on on social media, Kobe? Hello, Shira. Unlike other weeks, this week, guess who's trending? None other than... Mia Motley! Mia Motley! Mia Motley! Mia Motley! That's right. Trending is none other than our Prime Minister, Mia Amor Motley. She's not only been trending here in Barbados, but across the region. Now that story created a massive firestorm on Twitter with the Mia Motley critics and the Mia Motley supporters coming for, you know who, our Auntie Mia. And just when we thought the Prime Minister could not break the internet anymore, she came and she read the longest meme in history, in the longest address to the nation, in the longest long... You, you get where I'm going here. Mia came yesterday and gave us the longest of the long of the long and the long and Beijing social media was not having it. Somebody said, by the time Mia is finished, this is how we'll look. Well, another said, Mia Motley has never passed an executive summary. But on the bright side, we have been granted bail. Locked behind the gate. Now let's just get this straight We can only swim from 6 till 9 Auntie Mia told us not to lie That's right inmates We have been given a stay of execution And we have a bit of a pause And I want to encourage all of you to follow the protocols Wear your mask, stay safe So that we can fight COVID-19 Back to you Shira Well that's all the news we have for you here College Insiders I am Shira Belgrave